Welcome back everybody, Mike here. It is Independence Day Eve 2017, July 3rd. But anyway, I want to do a quick little video here. See, the other night we had our big party. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll uh, you'll know that. And uh, we were loading these mortar racks before the party and I, I had one more to go. You know, I had everything else all fused up. And somebody walks by there like, what happens if you put one of them in upside down? And I'm like, I don't know. I know you shouldn't do it, but I, I wasn't sure what it would do. So I'm going to make a little video here in a controlled environment and uh, just try it out and, and see what happens. All right. So for this little test, we're going to use this little canister shell right here. See, it says top. It's supposed to go in that way. Like so. But we're going to put it in this way and see what happens. This one is supposed to go that way. We'll put it in that way. Now these, this is a nice fiberglass tube, but the problem with this is these are of no use to me really. This is like a bonus item they give you uh, when you you know spend a boatload of money, but they're a smaller diameter than uh, like 95% of the consumer mortars out there. You can see the difference in size. Now these will still launch out of my regular mortar tubes, the HDPE pipe with the wood plugs in the bottom but uh, they don't go as high. There's just too much room around it. Look at it, it wobbles around in there. But before I do this, I'm gonna add a little fuse to both of these so I can get away from it. Okay, first, we're going to fire this one. This is a cardboard tube. Got a little mortar around in there. Upside down, and we'll see what happens. Next, we'll do the canister shell, which they usually shoot a little hotter, a little higher. And this is a pretty decent fiberglass tube. And we'll try that and see what happens. So they, uh, they both did actually better than what I thought they would. They held up better. This is the, uh, had the regular mortar in it. I mean, the base plate's got a couple cracks in it, but you know, still has its integrity. I wouldn't use it again, but uh, not too bad. Now these mortars don't have as much power as the canister shells. Let me show you what it did. Yeah, kind of put a hurting on it, but still, it didn't, you know, there wasn't a bunch of shrapnel flying all over the place, but, uh, yeah, hmm. but yeah, so that's it, that answered my question, I know uh, what happens when you put a mortar upside down and fire it, now I know, and you know too. 
Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, for all of my subscribers that are into the tractor videos, this is the last of the fireworks video for this year. Back to projects around the house. Thanks and take care.